find out P1 minus P2 pressure difference in both cases. Here S is the surface tension of liquid. R1 and R2 are the radius of curvature. Pressure on concave side is always greater than pressure on convex side. P concave side and here it is P convex side. So P concave is greater than P convex. Now see here. In the left side portion, pressure on concave side is given P1. Convex side that is supposed to be. Now for right side figure. Here P2 is the pressure on concave side. And P is the pressure on convex side. So we can write P1 minus P. P concave minus P convex is equal to 2 into surface tension upon radius of curvature. Radius of curvature of this surface is R1. Now for second surface, pressure on concave side that is P2 minus pressure on convex side P is equal to 2S upon radius of curvature. The radius of curvature is R2. Equation 1, equation 2. Now equation 1 minus equation 2. So it is P1 minus P minus P2 minus minus plus P. So P is cancelled. So P1 minus P2 is equal to 2S upon R1 minus 2S upon R2 where 2S is common. So in bracket 1 upon R1 minus 1 upon R2. That is the equation of pressure difference. 2S 1 upon R1 minus 1 upon R2. Now see here second diagram. In second diagram, there are two chord surfaces. Pressure on concave side is P1. Convex side is same as here, pressure on concave side is P and convex side is given P2. So P1 minus P, concave minus convex is equal to 2S radius of curvature that is R1. So 2S upon R1 for second surface. Pressure on concave side minus pressure on convex side P minus P2 is equal to 2 surface tension upon radius of curvature that is R2. Now equation 1 plus equation 2. Then P1 minus P plus P minus P2. P P is cancelled. So P1 minus P2. 2S upon R1 plus 2S upon R2 where 2S is common. So in bracket 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. That is the equation of pressure difference. Thank you.